Hey guys, welcome to Mud and Pop Thrift. We hit three garage sales today and man, I did way better than I anticipated. Got a little flyaway going here. Let's go look at it. Okay, so this was the first sale we hit this morning and there's nothing dramatic, but there's some pretty good stuff. This, I don't know anything about, made in China, but it's Universal Pictures and it has that gold ring on it. It has a vintage feel. I thought that might be something. It was 50 cents. The other coffee mug, life is good. Really nice, thick coffee mug um, for 50 cents. This Caleb picked out and I thought it was fantastic. Uh, it is in the box, but it's not new in the box. The box has some. I don't know if we're gonna sell it or keep it. I didn't count that it's two bucks, and we were pretty excited to get it. Oh, it might be new in box. Boy, no, no it's not new in the box. It's a humidifier for their room that uh, you screw a water bottle to. Uh, books, goosebumps, goosebumps. I always buy Goosebumps. Boxcar Children, my brother just really hit some home runs with Boxcar Children. And plus my children like Boxcar Children. So six, seven, eight, nine, and one. I didn't know anything about this. 1978 printing, whatever. And then my buddy Travis just picked up a bunch of these and I couldn't remember which ones he needed. So I picked these up. Turns out none of them are what he needed. So I'll probably just lot them all together. Two, three, four, six. Mickey Mouse book, yay! Um, that is the thing at the end. This is just a newer Bob Ross t-shirt, but it was 50 cents and it's awesome, it'll sell. Um, these are really, really nice, newer 569s, and they were 50 cents. Uh, this was $2, this is a US, where is it? Made in the U.S., vintage, uh, extra large men's Levi's trucker jacket. That's $50 all day long. And then this I was super excited about because I was, when And One first came out and it was a real brand that was competing with Nike and stuff, The uh, this, I was really big into it. I thought it was awesome. So this is from that era. This is not your Walmart generic And One. This is really vintage and pretty high quality and it was two bucks and then my best piece at this place boom six flags single stitch 1989 taz <laughs> water skiing on sharks there's nothing like a ride in the park and that vintage fruit tag i don't do super well with uh tank tops but man that's a this cool. is the second garage sale that we went to um and i don't even know where to start with it i'm pretty excited about what i found this one this we just talked about echo eternia being fake wood handled flatware this is the the knife block for that set i was hoping it was cutco when i found it it was not cutco is a super good brand they here's what's weird is these are real wood handle knives and they say Echo on them. I don't know if you guys can hear that train super loud or not. Echo stainless vanadium, vanadium? I don't know, but this, I suspect, I only paid $2 for this, so the block by itself is worth it. But I suspect that these are different Echo knives than what are supposed to be in this thing. I'm having to do some research, but I only paid two bucks. So this is, this is a pretty cool setup. These are, well, let's start with this thing that's out of the box. Somebody took, these were just a, literally just a throw in because I was buying everything else. Uh, somebody took old diner glasses, drilled a hole and made a set of patio lights with them. And these are like, they used bread tie things to make them stay. But this bound twisted wire, Clemco. I'm not familiar with Clemco as a brand of Christmas lights, but a lot of times these, just these older wound strands like this will have some, some value. These are all boxes. So they're like 
new old stock of palm trees and uh, pineapples. More palm trees and pineapples. These are clowns. This one, is, she was like, this is my favorite one. It's dragonflies. And I'm like, meh. <laughs> More clowns. Ooh, freaky clown face. This one is dragonflies. So far, I've got two of each. So that's cool. These are American flags. So with 4th of July coming up, I really got to get these listed right away. And you can see the price is 50 cents on this one. Uh, and 50 cents starlights. So then I have two boxes of this, which is jalapenos, um, jalapenos. And so with two of everything else, I may lot these stars and flags together and call that a set of two. This is the exciting box. We'll start with these, but you guys can see the, the prizes here. These are cowboy boots, covered wagons, cow skulls, and that's a strand of old. So you see it's twisted wire. So these are older. I don't know anything about them other than to say, holy crap, these are amazing, right? I mean, if you're going to a yard sale or an estate sale and you're not picking these up, uh, change that now. I don't know what these are worth. Hopefully I'll have some comps to put on the screen, but they are way cool. And then these are obviously Pepsi cans. They are... Hopefully there's a date. Doesn't appear to be, but they are, I mean, that's a 12 fluid ounce can that Pepsi is over. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then this one is the oh my goodnessest of oh my goodness. You guys, if you've been with the channel a while, you remember me finding and being super excited about some owls. Well, these are significantly more rare than the owls. They're not probably not as popular, but you're not going to find armadillos anywhere on the internet right now. Um, and there's six of them. They're in fantastic condition. And I can't wait to see what they list for. Because I've been trying to comp them and haven't been able to. And the third and final sale of the day, I uh, messaged my brother and said, I'm going to have to go to jail for homicide and abusing a corpse because I killed it today. And I cut it up and burnt it. Um, I'm probably going to get edited out. Uh, anyway, so we're at the third sale of the day and I couldn't believe the stuff that I found and then the pricing was holy cow even better uh, this this is kind of nothing it's a postcard in a frame 1999 this hat is dead stock there's the box that it would have come in camel cigarettes um, I paid a dollar for that hat I paid ten dollars for everything camel is where we ended up actually so then this uh, camel lighter and it's cool for what it is I suspect I could get it working if I wanted to, but who cares? This, through Movie Magic, ta-da, this is a cigarette holder. That piece of wood slides over your cigarettes. That's a pretty cool piece. Um, I don't know what any of that's worth. This shirt I have sold several times in used condition, and it sells for 30 uh, ish dollars, 30, 40 dollars, and it always sells to somebody in the Philippines or Thailand, and I don't know why. Um, but that is what's going to happen with this shirt. But I think at dead stock, I'm going to be at like 55 or $60 for that. Um, this is a tumbler, a glass. I felt like Dave Tesla picker picking up all this stuff that was promos to sell, uh, yes, camel stuff. That's a cool piece. 
dead stock. And then this is an ashtray. The box is a little torn up, but it's still in the box. Pool table ashtray, and it has this uh, Joe, Joe Camel uh, poster with it. So that's pretty cool. I, 10 bucks, including this. I'm buying that all day long. These were $2. I believe they're Fisher Price. I don't remember what they were, but I thought with that old Chicago Bears, that's made in the USA, so it's definitely vintage. I mean, and if you're familiar with Bears stuff, those three stripes tend to be vintage. So at two bucks, this is making money, and then these, I think, are something, and I'll figure them out, and, they, and they'll be icing on the cake. This is the icing, the cake, and the platter, the whole nine yards. Ad Lake lamp. Um, it has been the this would have been hanging on the railroad like a stoplight green go red stop um, talking to my friend who assures me he is not an expert uh, he thinks these are reproduction baffles um, and this would have had a candle in it uh, when it was in use it's obviously been rewired for lights but I paid $20 for that and he said it's probably 250 bucks. I'm hoping it's more than that, but even if it's not at $20, that's a pretty good pickup. So that's what Friday garage sales look like for me. Um, you probably won't be seeing this until next Friday, uh, but holy cow. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think that's gonna do it for me. We'll see you on Tuesday uh, with some what's old. Peace.